Good day everybody! For today's lesson, we will be dealing with difference and complement of a set. Now, let us consider this set. Let us identify the universal set. As we all know, universal set consists of all the elements in a given situation. So from this, the elements of universal set are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What about our set A? Correct! Those elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in our set B, we have, yes, you are right, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. Now, let us define the difference of set. The difference of set B from set A, denoted by A minus B, is the set of elements in A but not in B. Let us consider this given. So these are the given from our recent activity, wherein set A consists of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And B consists of 2, 4, 6, 8. Now let us find the difference between A and B. So our answer must be the set of elements in set A that cannot be found in set B. As we all know, 2 and 4 can be found in set B. That's why we excluded these two. Therefore, our answer is 1, 3, and 5. Now let's consider this one. So in our Venn diagram, A minus B equals to 1, 3, 5. The region where 1, 3, 5 is located is the one that we shaded. Okay, next. Let's find out B minus A or the difference between B and A. Since 2 and 4 are present in set A, we deleted these two, and our answer is 6, 8. Okay, now let's have this Venn diagram. So as we all know, B minus A is equal to 6, 8. Again, the region where 6 and 8 are located must be shaded. All right. Now let us have the complement of set. The complement of set A, denoted by A prime, is the set of elements that are in the universal set but not in set A. So we have here the given universal set is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And our set A consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set B consists of 2, 4, 6, 8. Now our task is to find out the complement of set A. Meaning, we need to get the difference between universal set and our set A. Since 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are present in set A, we have to exclude this. And the remaining elements are 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so our Venn diagram is like this. 
So as you observe, the region or part where 6, 7, 8, 9 are located have been shaded. Okay, now let us have the B prime. So when you say B prime, we need to get the elements that can be found in our universal set but not in B. So again, the elements in set B should be excluded. So we have to exclude 2, 4, 6, and 8. Therefore, the complement of set B are the numbers or elements that are left. So our answer here is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And our Venn diagram here is like this, wherein 2, 4, 6, 8 are not shaded. And the part where 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are located have been shaded. Okay, now let us have a practice. So, our universal set here consists of elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And our elements in set A are A, C, D. And set B, we have A, F, G, H. Now, we are to find the difference between A and B. We need to exclude the element that are present in set B, and that is A. Next, the remaining elements in set A are C and D. That's why our answer in A minus B is equal to C, D. Okay, next, let us have the difference between B minus A. So, meaning, let us identify those elements that are present in B but not in A. So, we have here the two sets, B and A. So, we need to exclude the elements that is present in both A and B, and that is A. And our remaining elements are F, G, H. Therefore, B minus A is equal to F, G, H. Again, these three are present in set B but not in A. Next, we have a prime or the complement of set A. So again, when you say complement of set A, we need to get the difference between the universal set and the given set which is A. So here class, we have to exclude the elements in present in A but not in universal set. So we exclude here A, C, and D. And the remaining elements should be the answer. So our answer here is B, E, F, G, H. Again, these five elements can be found in universal set, but not in set A. Now, let us have the last one, or the B prime. So, when you say B prime, we have to get the elements 
which are present in universal set but not in set B. So we need to exclude A since we have A in our set B. Same with F, G, H. And the remaining elements will be the answer. So here, B prime is equal now to B, C, D, E. All right. If you learned something today, please subscribe my channel and click the notification bell. Goodbye.